Hey everyone, Amy here from the Finger Lakes Guide. Winter is certainly upon us here in the Finger Lakes. While the cold and snow may drive many folks indoors for wine and beer, and there's nothing wrong with that, there's still a ton to see and do outdoors. One of our favorite things to do in winter is check out the area's frozen waterfalls. As those familiar with the area know, we're not short on waterfalls. And while most visitors come to see them in the summer, there's something pretty spectacular about a frozen waterfall against a snowy backdrop. So today, we thought we'd share some of our favorite waterfalls to visit in the winter. There are a couple things you'll want to keep in mind if you're hunting waterfalls in the winter. First, some trails to waterfalls that seem easy in warmer months can get dicey in the winter. So watch out for ice and consider bringing spikes or cleats for your shoes. Many of the gorge trails are closed in winter for this very reason. All of the waterfalls we're going to be sharing with you today are easily accessible either right from a road or by an easy hike, so you'll generally be fine without your crampons. Also, depending on recent temperatures and water flow, waterfalls can be partially or completely frozen over or not at all. All situations can make for a beautiful scene, but if you're going with the expectation to see a flowing fall or a complete wall of ice, just be prepared that you may not encounter what you're hoping for. Nature is unpredictable. Okay, with all that said, let's dive into some of our personal favorites. First up on the list is Chicago Falls, which can be found right at the end of Main Street in the village of Montour Falls on the southern end of Seneca Lake. These huge cascading falls are hidden in plain sight, right in between houses on a residential street, and are easily accessible year-round. There are a couple parking spots in front of the small park that sits in front of the falls, and the sidewalks through the park are cleared enough to easily walk to the base. So really, you could just stay in your car and take in the frozen falls from the road. They're that close. On the most recent day we visited in early February, the falls were mostly frozen over and covered in snow, but you could see in here just a little bit of trickling water in spots. Up next, and my personal favorite on the list, is Seneca Mills Falls on the Cuca Lake Outlet Trail. Seneca Mills is a beautiful little cascading waterfall that can be found in between Cuca and Seneca on the Cuca Lake Outlet. The falls are a short and flat, three-tenths of a mile hike from the parking area. The trail can be snow-covered, but is heavily used and generally easy to traverse in the winter, even after heavier snows. The short hike takes you along the side and up to the top of the falls. These cascades are beautiful year-round, but just stunning set against the snowy backdrop of winter. The Cuca Outlet Trail that takes you to the falls is multi-use. On our most recent visit, we passed by folks on fat tire bikes, snowshoers, and snowmobiles. Everyone was friendly and courteous, but be aware that it's not just hikers you may come across. Next up, we head south of Cayuga Lake to Ithaca to visit Buttermilk Falls. Ithaca is not short on waterfalls and easily accessible ones at that, but one of the easiest and safest to visit in the winter months is Buttermilk Falls. Buttermilk Falls State Park is right off Route 13 south of Ithaca, and the falls are just a few steps from the parking lot. In fact, you don't have to leave the parking lot or your car for a view of the falls. If you do want to get closer to the falls, be aware that pathways around the park may not be cleared, so depending on snow amounts, you could be trudging through quite a bit to get a closer view. On our most recent winter visit, the falls were completely frozen over and snow covered with just the faintest trickle of water behind. Still beautiful and awesome to see, but very different from what we experienced at Seneca Mills. From Ithaca, we head just a few miles up north to Taganic Falls in Trumansburg. There are two options for seeing Taganic Falls in the winter. One is from the Overlook, which provides a great view of the falls year-round and is just a few steps from parking. The other is via a relatively easy mile-and-a-half out-and-back hike on the Gorge Trail. This trail is well maintained and heavily trafficked, though it can get icy depending on recent weather. Regardless of the route you choose, Taganic is gorgeous in the winter, as it is in every other season. We covered Taganic Falls in more depth in a recent video, so if you'd like to see more about this hike and the views, I'll link to that video below. Heading back west, our last stop is to Letchworth State Park, just a bit southwest of Canisius Lake. Letchworth is famous for its deep and dramatic gorge carved out by the Genesee River, which is why the park is sometimes referred to as the Grand Canyon of the East. And the park's also known for its three gorgeous waterfalls. In the frozen winter months, two of these waterfalls can still be accessed fairly easily, the Upper Falls and the Middle Falls. If you enter the park from the Cast Isle entrance, it's a short two miles or so just past the Glen Iris Inn and down to the parking lot. 
From there, both the middle and upper falls are just a short walk away. The walk to the upper falls follows along the edge of the river and up the hillside. On the day we visited, this trail was super icy, so wear boots and take your time. Depending on recent weather, you may have more luck for a less slippery trail, but even with the ice, it's just a few yards from the parking lot up to the first clear view of the falls. You can also access the top of the middle falls from the same parking lot. This view is looking down from the top of the falls instead of up, but it's just as gorgeous and gives a great perspective on the power of the falls. We had some decently warm weather leading up to the day of our visit, so the water was flowing, but you can see that there's still plenty of snow and ice to create that perfect winter scene. That wraps up our list of favorite waterfalls in the Finger Lakes. I'll leave you one more shot of my favorite, but let me know if we missed any of yours by commenting below. And be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on our latest videos. See you soon.